Still different from Grizzly Straight. It's a little windy today. Sitting in the shed with the door open. A little chilly. Ain't that bad. But, get everything straight. Good saying. Now, in my other video, I told y'all about my knee. What was wrong with it. Now, I'm going to tell you what happened with it. Well, about three Thursdays ago, we had a game. I played for Lanier County Bulldogs. I'm a fullback. Our last game we played, it's three Thursdays ago. Three Thursdays ago, I forgot who we was playing. I think we was playing Bacon. That is a county in Georgia. You can look it up. We was playing them. And we was going for a two-point conversion. Well, they handed the ball to me. I ran to the outside, and two people was in front of me. And, well, I couldn't just let them tackle me, so I jumped over them. When I jumped over him, his helmet hit me right on top of my kneecap. And I, I'll show you my pads later. You know, I got there's a big red mark on it. And I'll be showing y'all my jersey and all that, too. Anyway, I got, couldn't walk on it. I actually had to go to the emergency room. The emergency room gave me a, a long brace to wear, which made it hurt worse. Missed a couple days of school cause it actually went out on me, fell off the porch, wouldn't have been for my backpack pulling me to the other side to the ground. I'll show y'all the way what my porch looks like probably in the next video, tell y'all what it looks like. It's got a um, concrete little porch, but on the porch it wasn't, but there's concrete on the bottom of it. If I'd have fell on the concrete, I'd probably have stitches in my head. But my backpack pulled me to the side and I landed on dirt. But the bad thing about it is the backpack came up and hit me in the back of the head. That never feels good. And we got to get, probably getting the MRI done probably this week. I'm going to get braces put in. I don't know why. That's probably going to... I'm still going to be different with braces in if I got to fox them all day. And on my other video I was talking about, but you probably won't watch it because it's a little blurry, but y'all be able to watch these ones. Good starting dipping. How you start dipping. And how you tell your parents that you're dipping. Well, I started dipping when I was nine. And actually, my dad knew about it. My other family knew about it. My nanny and papa didn't know about it, and then when I moved in with them, for about six months, I dipped at the house. When I was, I used to put one in while I'm taking a shower, try to hide it from them, and sometimes I'd come out here and take a dip. And, well, one day I was going to the shower and had it under my clothes and all that walking. Well, it accidentally slipped out and fell. And it happened to be my Aunt Becky found out about it. She saw it. She had to be the one to blurt it out. Well, she blurted it out. We had a long discussion about it. Now, my Aunt and Nanny and Papa was actually glad it happened. So they didn't like me going around their back doing it. They figured, well, if he do that, he'll do something else. And that's what this other... A bunch of, like, I say, like Mud Jug says, pick your, po pick your poison. What do you want? You want to be doing some heroin or some weed and smoking that and messing up yourself and getting addicted on it? Or do you want to do some dip every now and then? Well, I'm pretty sure your parents and everybody would choose dip. That's one way you could do it. Now, if you got real serious parents, you don't just... Blur out, walking there. I'm dipping. That's just stupid. Later down the road, you're gonna have to tell them. So do like I did. Go to the shower. Accidentally drop it if your parents ain't that much bad. 
a bunch of people in my family dip. My granddad chews. My papa used to chew tobacco. My uncle Peanut dips. There's a bunch of people in my family that chew tobacco and smoke and all that. And, but. That's how you do it. Now, how do you start dip? What is a good beginner dip? I actually say skull like everybody else. Because it's got a, like any fruity flavor dip. But I'd probably, I'd recommend something. Probably not, I'd recommend skull, but not so much skull. I, I actually started dipping out with Grizzly Straight. Not Grizzly Straight, but Grizzly Natural. What I just, or I started dipping with. Here you can see I got a big old puddle of dip right there. Because I forgot my bottle again. Don't know why. I'm probably going to upload my video that I did yesterday with this one today. And I'm going to be doing another video on Skull Mint. I'd recommend that for a dipper. For a little beginner dipper. And one more thing I'm going to talk about, like me, I could probably walk in the store and buy it by myself, because I'm about 6, I'm six one, and I can grow a pretty good little beard out here, but in a mustache, but I usually keep it trimmed, mustache can get a little bit longer, but I keep it trimmed, my beard can get a little longer, but I usually trim it up a lot while I'm going to school and all that, don't want to look like you're in the... Fifty hundred years old. Now that guy look good. Yeah, if y'all can see, I'm wearing, still wearing my Nike shorts. About off the state. That's a pretty good team. Ain't that great? But they got a lot of people. Did they get from different counties and actually help them out and go to college and play football? That's actually what I wanted to do. I, wanna, I was going to show y'all a baseball video the other day, but the wind's blowing real real bad, so I really ain't going to pitch today. I'm going to mess up my pitches from the wind blowing on it and makes it rotate a lot faster. Actually mixes up your pitches, so you got to do it a little more angled. With the wind being like that. Now today, what are we going to talk about that has changed from the old days to the day? Let me explain what we're doing yeah, y'all hear that? That's some big wind, and it's cold as hell. Shit, I'm about to freeze. Mm. I don't know what we have in the storm or something, but it's hella cold. Well, it's probably it's getting the winter time, you know it. Which I'm glad because I really don't like hot weather. I don't like super cold weather either. I've been up there in the Missouri before. Dag on five foot of snow. But it's still windy out there. Still blowing wind anyway. What has changed? What has changed over the time of days? Let me think, let me think, let me think. Let me think. Wood. How's wood changed? How's wood changed over the years? Wood has changed from the day standards that we got treated wood. Treated wood is actually chemicals that make it where it, you probably still can get termites in it, but they do got some kind of chemical that's in it that actually kills the termites if you buy the good kind of wood. But it is, we got treated wood, which actually don't takes a lot of time to rot. And it's actually, I wouldn't say better, but it's actually cheaper to buy than just regular cutted wood, natural cut, nothing wrong with. Wood nowadays is probably cheaper than it was back then. Because back then you'd have to cut it on your own land, and well, once all them trees get done, well, you got to buy some more land, you got to plant you some trees. 
but we ain't really taking care of our forests that much. I mean, some people cut down trees and they don't plant them back, but most of the people do plant them back. But you got some dumbasses out there that want to just tear up everything and don't fix what they did or tear it up and they don't know how to fix it. Like my Uncle Peanut with tools. Yeah, we got some air tools in here that he broke and all that. And some tools, other tools that he broke and didn't know how to use. He knows how to use them, but he broke them and don't want to fix them. don't know how to fix them. And, tree wood nowadays, they treat it, put all kind of chemicals in it. It don't burn as fast, but it'll get a flame. Back then, the people used to make it out of have fat lighter houses they hand cut cut with little bow saws not bow saws but daggum hand saws where they have to juice saw it and put take a daggum chisel and chisel it out the main layout nowadays everything is done by machines which it is a lot cheaper and a lot faster but that's how wood, wood has changed over the days and get everything straight that's it for the day y'all